Hey Fit Fam! First off, I want to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. There is always something to be thankful for. Before we begin, I want to announce our winner for our Share Our Video Contest. Let's go to our Wheel of Names and the winner is... Let's see... It is... Fran Johnson! Wow! Congratulations Fran Johnson! You are our winner of our Share Our Video Contest! <laughs> Today's guest on Mary's Kitchen is a mother of five. She has two puppies, a cat, and is never a dull moment in her household. Coming from military parents, she has moved quite a bit and has lived in Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick, and Manitoba. When she's not at the gym, she enjoys relaxing, watching TV shows with the kids, and playing video games. Fall is her favorite season, and Christmas is her favorite holiday. Everyone, please welcome Julie Quenvilla from Fit Club West. <laughs> Hey Julie. Hi. Thanks for coming on the show today. Well, thank you for inviting me. Obviously, yes. <laughs> what are we making today? So today we'll be making um, a dessert called pudding au chomar. Okay. And that also translates to um, for men's pudding. And we'll be making a, a tortilla. People from Quebec will probably really hate me for saying tortilla because it's actually more of a pâte à viande, which is a, a meat pie. Um, yeah, so that's what we're making today. So we're making a tortillère. And yes, a and pudding au chomar. Pudding chomar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Okay. Um, so let's start with the pudding chomar. Okay. Let's ready. do that. Yes. Should I preheat the oven too? Yes. Okay. Um, 375, please. 375. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. So we'll start by making uh, the cake. Yes. So we'll start by um, taking a quarter cup of uh, butter. Quarter cup of butter? Yep. Okay, let me get a knife then. I'm just going to eyeball this. Yep. Because I believe this is two cups, right? Two cups if I'm right. And then this is half a cup. So then a quarter cup is this. Uh, just a little, a little bit more. Yep. Okay, so let's be yeah, generous a with a yes. quarter cup. A big quarter cup. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe, okay, a lot of butter. <laughs> <laughs> so a quarter cup plus extra. All right, what else? And then uh, two thirds of a cup of sugar. Two thirds of a cup of sugar. Okay, let me get a third. Lunch over. Yeah, give that to you, Julie. Okay, here's a third cup measurement. Julie, I love desserts so much. So it's I'm very so sweet. Excited. I love sweets. Like cake is one of my favorite foods. I can eat cake every day. I don't, but I could. Mm. I could. <laughs> Perfect. And then, nope. and then real quick, we'll start make, uh, doing the, the dry ingredients too. So we'll take a cup of uh, cup of flour. Cup of flour. All right. Um, this is white flour. Yeah. Okay. Show more white flour. Okay, white flour. And what else? And then we'll do um, the baking powder. So, which is a teaspoon. A teaspoon of baking powder? Yeah. Okay. Um, there we go. Right, so we'll just give this a bit of a swirl. And then we'll use the hand mixer to okay. mix this kind of... Okay, I'll get you to do that, Julie. <laughs> Last time I did that, it was it was pretty messy. Okay. Oh. Here, I'll give this back to you. And we need to actually plug this. So there's an outlet over here. Okay, there we go. Do you make this dessert very often, Julie? Um, so I usually make it around Christmas time, just kind of a holiday kind of thing. Okay. Uh, but we've been going... I'll just use one. So we've been going to uh, my parents for Christmas lately is in Quebec and in New Brunswick, so I haven't done it in a bit. This is why I gave you this task because I'm not very good at it. <laughs> And 
how long will this take to cream it, roughly? It's not too bad, but we can, uh, meanwhile, take a, a small um, pot and you can start doing the syrup. Oh, okay. Like, is this a good size? Or bigger? Uh, a little bit bigger. Bigger? Okay. We need at least three people to put at least three cups. That, yeah, that'll be good. Get a bigger one just to be safe. Alright. So for the syrup, we'll need um a cup of water. A cup of water? Yeah. Okay. Cup of water and I just put it right in the pot? At what temperature? Uh, so we'll put it to a, to a boil, and then we'll let it simmer a little bit after. Okay. This boils really fast. Okay, like so... It's induction, so it doesn't yeah, take so long. a little bit less, just so we have time to be ready to put it. Through. Okay. I'll just put it at medium-high. Because if I say boil, it'll boil, like, in a minute. Oh, wow. It's really fast. Oh, that would save time on cooking. Um, it does, but except it's so fast sometimes where it might burn. True. <laughs> the, I would burn my stuff for sure. <laughs> and then a cup of uh, a cup of maple syrup. Oh, a cup. Yeah, and then also a cup of brown sugar. Okay. This is really French then, maple syrup. Yeah. Well, so there's variants. Some people don't put um, maple, uh, maple syrup in it. They'll just put the brown sugar. But I like my maple syrup. <laughs> so yeah, let's do the maple syrup. It's Thanksgiving, might as well. Exactly. Okay. And then a cup of brown sugar. And is it packed brown sugar? Yeah. And then we'll also have another quarter cup of butter in there. Okay. I love brown sugar so much. And butter, can you say? Yeah, we'll have another uh, another quarter cup of butter. Another quarter cup. Mm. Is it like actually a quarter cup, or is it a generous quarter cup? <laughs> Okay. An actual quarter cup. Okay. <laughs> I have to make sure I don't know because their first one was a quarter cup, but it was not a quarter cup. Okay. All right. I just don't like to measure butter. I'm so lazy with that. There we go. Yeah, I usually just eyeball it, so it's usually a little bit more than... Oh, I know. I love <laughs> butter. I put butter in everything. Yes. And I just let this boil. Yeah, so we bring it to boil. Yeah. And then we let it simmer. Okay. Do I mix it at all or just leave it? Pardon me? Do I, do I mix this or do I just let it? Uh, so just let it until it, uh, the butter kind of melts and then we can mix it. Okay. Okay. We'll leave that there. Perfect. Okay. So that should be good. And then cause, because we'll continue mixing it with all the other ingredients. Yeah. So now we will add um, the egg. Okay. Well, you know, I'll do that. In here? Yeah. And this is a large egg. Perfect. And we'll also be adding um, a teaspoon. A teaspoon of vanilla? Of vanilla. Okay. There we go. And next, half a cup of milk. the same cup here. Oh, okay. Sorry. That's okay. Okay. And this is called a poor man's pudding when you translate yeah. it. Yeah. Mm. 
Perfect. So now we can start slowly adding our dry ingredients. Slowly? I don't have a spatula. No, it's not good. Okay. And then just make sure everything is mixed. Is that the entire recipe? Yeah, so that's the cake. Oh, okay. It's not a big batter. No, it's and it won't small. be super like it won't be like huge like a cake or anything. Yeah. Um, because it's it's like super sweet. So you have like a, a piece of it or two and then oh, you're like, I oh, see. Okay, good. Okay. Um, so that it's really good to eat with like ice cream because it kind of cuts a bit of the the maple sugar and everything sweetness. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna butter uh, or grease it. Sorry, just so it doesn't stick too much okay, to let's it. Okay, the butter then. Oh yeah. Since we have the butter out, I'll give you this, Julie. And then our syrup is doing well. It's not boiling yet. But I'll turn it up a little bit higher. Yeah, no, it's not a lot of mixture. No, is this yeah. pan too big for it then? No, well, no. I usually use, like I said, it's it won't be um it won't be high. It'll yeah. be like pretty thin. Yeah. But because it's so sugary. Yeah. Okay. But you can definitely double it up if you find that it's not um enough. Mhm. Mm and so you have this. You said. It, during Christmas time, Thanksgiving yeah. time. Yeah, Thanksgiving. And it's like a very popular. Occasions. Yeah. It's a very pop or a very French dessert, I should say. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. I haven't really had French food before, other than you know the the, the common creme brulee and you know French toast. Putin. Putin. <laughs> <laughs> I, I call it poutine, not put, not putin. <laughs> but because uh, how you said it, it just it sounds so uh, <laughs> it sounds so proper. No, I've never. Sorry. Uh, it's funny because I wanted to make that on the show, right? And I thought it was very French, but it is. But it's, so we usually use. Oh, we, it's, now unless, it's bubbling. Okay, perfect. So we'll just kind of we'll um, mix it with a fork. Uh, sure. Just anything that'll mix. Okay. Just make sure that it's nice. And what should the temperature be at then? So you can bring it down a little bit. Okay. A three out of yeah, nine? that'll be good. Okay. So we'll just let it simmer for just a couple minutes. Okay. Yeah, so, we always have to keep yeah. watching that. All right. Yeah, I want to make a poutine. I thought it was a very French um, dish, but it's more like a snack, right? Not so well, much a meal. So it is... So it'll be more of a meal than a side, right? So okay. we'll eat it as a meal. Mm -hmm. um, Bothwell has really good um, squeaky cheese, mm -hmm. but I'll admit I do miss the fresh cheeky, the squeaky cheese. Like my uh, my parents live in Saguenay and they have like this, the cheese factory, and you go there and it's like fresh. Like oh, there's fresh a little cheese. milk at the bottom of it. It's like hot. Oh, that fresh. Yeah. So good. I haven't had a good poutine in a long time. It's been years, like probably 10 years, I think, since the last time I had a poutine. Oh, really? Yeah, I think it has been. So I guess I need to eat a poutine. <laughs> or maybe you can come back and make a real poutine yeah. for us. <laughs> Just need a fryer and fries and potatoes. And cheese, good and cheese. cheese. Well, I'm excited for this. That wasn't too bad after all. It was a pretty easy recipe. Yeah, it's not. It's just a matter of like remembering the ingredients and such. Mm -hmm. But it's it's not that bad. So we'll look at the syrup. And you made this yesterday for your husband, I heard. <laughs> I, I did. So I'm like, oh, I'll make some for home. I haven't done it in so long. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, it'll be a good dessert for the kids today. And then yeah. the husband kind of fell in it. And he usually doesn't like he's not a huge 
sweet person. Mm -hmm. um, what are you doing? It's like, well, it's good. Okay. And I guess it's I'll have fresh to more. Too, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and do you guys have plans for today for Thanksgiving? No. So we'll make a little ham or something tomorrow for okay. Thanksgiving. Um, yeah. I, in my family, we it'd be more of an excuse to actually go see my aunts and cousins oh, yeah. and such yeah. and then have a anything a little paltry something yeah um but we haven't didn't really do any big thanksgiving with the family mm -hmm. us it's really more christmas mm -hmm. but yeah so it was an excuse for us to go see our, our family okay so look at the syrup so then the syrup goes on top of this yep and oh okay you just put it in the oven and so then how long are so we supposed to let it reduce here i'll give this to you should i put it higher i'll put it at a four put a higher five Give it maybe a minute or two. Another and minute. It's good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I could just smell the sweetness yeah. already. Yeah. But that's why I like to add the maple syrup though. Just again, it's very sweet on its own. But then mm -hmm. you add the maple syrup and it adds even more sweetness. It has a nice taste to it. I yeah. actually compared maple syrup to honey, and I think I like maple syrup better. But it's not as sticky as the honey is. Yes, and it's like way like different stuff, right? So yeah. We have like the, the sugar shacks in Quebec, so that's this big thing in spring, mm -hmm. right? When the, the trees have like their, 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 the, the maple coming out of it and everything. And then we eat it like from on the, on the snow and all. So it's Yes, like, I tried that right? actually. So good. Yeah, they, they would put the syrup on the snow and then you'd have your what, popsicle stick yeah, and you just and turn cool. it over. Yeah, yeah I, went to, um, I went to Montreal to go visit a friend of mine and we went to, um, I don't even know where we went, but I, I tried it. It was pretty tasty. Oh, and they have it here in Festival de Voyageur. They do, yes. Yeah. yeah. And that should be good. So we, all we'll do is... So we want a light boil? Yeah. So it, it kind of looks... It kind of has a, a caramel color to it, right? Because okay. you don't want it to have to be um, burnt either, right? Mm -hmm. So you can... Uh, it's really a choice. You can let it simmer a little bit more and have it kind of thicken up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Or you can just leave it like that. Um, How do you use it? I like to have a little bit more more uh, thickness. No, a little less thickness. Oh, okay. Just because the cake will absorb some of it, oh, right? Oh, yes. And then you have like the the gooey. They okay. Then let's do it like that then. Okay. So you can uh, turn it off. Yep. Yeah, you can okay. turn it off. Also, what we'll do is just take it and we'll just pour it on top. All of it on top. Yeah. Just like kind of slowly, but slowly. Yeah. Okay. Slowly. That's, that's like five times the liquid <laughs> versus cake. So there's variants. People, some people will put the sugar, uh, the syrup first, and then they'll put the olives of the batter on top. Okay. Um, I just find it easier to just put it in and just put that in okay. in the oven, and it mixes anyways, right? Yes. So. Okay. Let me get the oven for you. Oh, this is preheated already. Okay. There we go. And how long does it bake for Julie? 30 to 40 minutes really depends. You look at it when it looks kind of nice golden on top. Okay, then it's, it's 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, so around 4.30. Okay, so we have on to dish number two. What are we making? <laughs> okay, we're making a, a tzotze or a pot pavillon, which is a meat pie. Um, say, say the second word again. Uh, pot pavillon. Okay, slowly. Pâté à la viande. Pâté à la viande. Yeah, à la viande, yeah. That's my French. That's good. Yeah, so we we do this around Christmas time a lot. At Thanksgiving too, again, it, it pairs really good with like the poultry and the turkey and everything. Mm -hmm. um, so for this, it's really simple. It It's more like the cooking time. Mm -hmm. So it's onion, potatoes, um, garlic, breadcrumbs, chicken broth and then what makes it great is the spices so it's like it's cinnamon ground clove uh, nutmeg okay and then we have pork and beef and so it's it's one of each so it's depending how much how many pies you want to make but it's one to one right we're gonna make the a ratio. lot of pies fyi we have six <laughs> packages here so it's gonna be a feast <laughs> perfect so we'll start by doing uh the onions and the garlic. Onions and garlic? Yeah. Okay. 
So, Julie, I'll get you to do the onions and garlic. I'll get another cutting board. And do you eat this pie often, the tortilla? Yeah, again, so it'd be a, a, an occasion thing, right? Oh, right. Sorry, it'd be like a holiday thing? Yeah. Uh, but we can eat whenever you want, right? Well, anything with meat and potatoes, like I'm all for it. And so how do, it's just chopped? So you just kind of cut it in small pieces. Cut in small pieces? Yeah, small little dices. Oh, okay. Let me get you a garbage bowl too. I'm try not to cry too much. You know what? I wear contacts, so I oh. it doesn't affect me. And I'll wonder, how come I don't cry? Well, because I have contacts oh. in my eyes. <laughs> Yeah, no, I usually, we'll see how it ends. I usually end up with like the nice mascara line under the eye and why did you cry, mom? Okay, so <laughs> prior to me getting contacts, I used to cry a lot. And to prevent it, I actually used to wear one of those like safety goggles. Oh, yeah. So that way I could top and not cry. And it worked, but it still seeps through and you still cry. But at least, you know, it saved the mascara. True. <laughs> So what you can do right now, actually, if yeah. you don't mind, I'll just put a bit of olive oil. Oh, yes. So yeah. really, like, eye it. Okay. And then once we cut the onion, you could just put it in right away. Okay, so let's do that then. So it doesn't take too much. Okay, let room, me turn right? on my oven for you. Yeah. Or my stove. How um, how high should I have it? Medium high. Medium? Yeah. So like a six out of nine? Yeah. So what we'll do oh, is we'll start by... Um, getting softened the, the onions and the garlic. Okay. And then when, so that's like a couple minutes, right? It's not yeah. too long. So once that's done, we just pop everything in, like whatever's left in core ingredients. Uh, so like the nutmeg, the, the spices, the, the breadcrumbs, the, the chicken broth and all. Okay. Just, and then we add salt and pepper to taste. Mm -hmm. So really, again, that's like eyeball, eyeballing it, right? And then I like lots of salt and pepper. Yeah, I do too. I don't like bland foods. <laughs> well, but you know what? I think I add a lot of salt in my foods. But, you know, I mean, with the Asian culture, we use a lot of soy sauce and, you know, oyster yeah, sauce. True. So that there's already lots of salt. So I don't think, I don't know, I'm just used to salty food. But I don't think it's salty. But Jerome tells me it's salty. <laughs> <laughs> there are times where I'm cooking, right? And Jerome's like, no, too much salt. I'm oh. like, no, Jerome. <laughs> Never it's not too much too salt. Much salt. <laughs> Maybe once in a while. Yeah, but I've gotten a lot better with the salt, right? Well, so I did it yesterday because my might as well. Why not? So I did these yesterday too. And so I'm going to make some more too because I'm like, well, you know what? Might as well get ahead for Christmas. Oh, yeah. So you have to freeze it then? This. Yeah. Okay. That's a smart thing. Yeah. So I just freeze and then when you can just like pop it back in the oven just to like... Um, not cooking, but just to get it warm, right? But do you have a deep freezer that you can store it in? Yes. Oh, okay. I kind of have no choice with the kids and all. <laughs> oh, right. We Julie need, has yeah. five kids. Yeah, you need a freezer. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? Like, we don't have a deep freezer. I feel like we do now because I like to buy things when they go on sale. And especially when it's the holidays, you're going to have turkeys that are on oh, yeah. sale too. Last year, after Thanksgiving, I bought two turkeys. Oh, wow. Because it was so cheap. It was only, I think, $13. Oh, wow. At no frills, $13 at no frills. So I might be going to no frills again and buying another two turkeys. Yeah, no, that's great. And then you have it for like Christmas well, and, or just to make, you know, recipes. Not even though. So I cooked those two turkeys and I meal prepped and RJ and I ate turkey every day. And it took us, I think, four days to finish <laughs> a really big turkey. Oh, God. And it was just for fun, right? Like, yeah. And turkey's not bad for you. No, it, no, well, it's, so good it's for really you. good. It's really it's good. all and the just, stuff in addition to the turkey that's bad for you, right? And, you know, just the everything else. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, we polished a really big turkey in four days. Wow. And we're not sick of it. Oh, oh. it's it's really good. It's um, 
there's so many things you can do. You're crying. I am. <laughs> She's crying. I am. I'm but like see, trying to like. I'm not crying. Do you have a, a plastic oh, yes. or wooden? Um, because we'll have to, to this, cut the um, the meat into pieces too after. Oh, day. okay. So, so like a spatula, spe spatula. Uh, spatula, yes. And then you need some sort of meat thing. Well, I can cut it with the spatula, or we can cut it with the spatula. I have. I know what your what utensil you're talking about. Like something like that. That's good. Like what? This? Long enough? Yeah. Okay. That'll be good. I just did the dishes. I don't know where my my utensil is. Oh, sorry. So we'll just, oh, sorry. No, nope, not there, not there. So I'll just finish cooking up, um, cutting the onions. Hmm. Oh, here it is. Would this work? The masher? Yeah, we could, yeah, we could use that for uh, when we put the, the meat in. There we go. Okay. Yeah, the kids know when I'm doing onions too. When I'm, I cook, you know, they they come in the kitchen, like they're in the living room, and they're like, "Mom, you're doing onions." Sorry, <laughs> you could have just given me the task of doing onions, <laughs> or you okay. could have, I could have just brought out glasses for you. <laughs> but I heard that if you what if you dip the onion in water, it'll prevent it from like releasing those. Oh, really? Chemicals or whatever, so then you don't cry. I've heard putting it in the oven to uh, not oven the freezer. Sorry, to oh the freezer help. maybe that's what it is. There's mm -hmm. so many different ways, but it's just faster just to cut the onion, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. And how many potatoes do I need to peel, Julie? Four. Four? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna peel five just in case. Yep. <laughs> We're making a lot of food, so why not? RJ loves his meat and potatoes. Oh yeah, eh? yeah. Well, he's he's half Ukrainian, right? So he grew up with a lot of meat and potatoes. Makes sense. Yeah. And then tomorrow, are you guys doing anything? Yeah. So not really. Like, yes, our our family was just like. Like I said, like it's just a an excuse to meet up, like and have a little something. But we, mm -hmm. it wasn't like a huge family thing. It was mm -hmm. just like it was your our cousin, and, yeah, and such. Uh, well, even this year, it's kind of it's like, do you see family? Do you no. not? Do you just do something small? I mean, like, there's a lot of cases right now. Yeah, it's I, going up too. I, right? I didn't check the number of cases. I checked just for fun, you know, just to see what it, the numbers are. But they're actually climbing a lot. The last time I checked, it was over 900. Oh, well, I just look at the daily ones. I yeah. haven't looked at, like, the whole. Um, and, yeah, they've, they've been pretty high. But, I mean, I can't compare oranges to apple. But, like, I'm just thankful we're here and not in Quebec and Ontario. <laughs> oh, I know. It's worse. Yeah. But then again, they have more people there, too, Yeah, exactly. Right? But, like, yes, yeah, so I'm, like, my family. Not where my parents are, but my brother and my cousin in Montreal, obviously. That one's, like, the big epicenter. But... They're like in the red right now. And oh, all. they're in the red? They're in lockdown? Uh, pre pretty much. Well, I hope yeah. we don't go into lockdown. I don't think we will, no, no. but let's, I, I hope not. But yeah, like the, the restaurants are closed, gyms, everything is closed up again. So, but yeah, and my family is, because it takes three days drive to go to, to, go to New Brunswick and like two days and a half-ish to go to my my parents. Mm -hmm. So with everything going on this year, and we usually go through the States because oh, you, got, you drive through this. Okay. Yeah. It's cheaper. And it's just, we get to see something else. Right. And yeah, it, it kind of cuts from the long Ontario way, but it's a nice drive though, isn't it? Because it is, you see lots of good. stuff, like lots of rocks and it's it, lots of mountains. So it's a little less, like it's really pretty, but like when it's winter mm -hmm. and you have like all the animals that, that can come out of nowhere and oh like my the, gosh, yes. the, um, the winter storms and all, it's just easier to go through the States. Although we've had a lot of, we had a really great experience last year. It was like so much um, slush and ice and everything we, go, we went through. Mm -hmm. We had a, we almost got into an accident just because like this guy was just like sliding in front of us. Of course, right? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so they, they already know we're not going this year just with the whole situation. And New Brunswick is like, 
We're good. You guys can keep out. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, so if you were to drive there, you'd have to quarantine when you come back. Is that correct? We'd have to quarantine there and then when you come oh, back. Oh, there and back. Yeah, so it's really not worth it. Yeah. Well, if you have the time, yeah, but... Oh, well, yeah, no, exactly. Oh, so do you want this higher? Or? Yeah, just a little bit. Okay. Well, you can just control it over here. Okay, perfect. It's at seven, seven. and nine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just so it can get a little clear. And then should I top the potatoes? No. Uh, yes. Yeah, so in, in the little dices. Or like, okay. Yeah, so like... Let's both do it here. Oh, so little Just chunks. Like that. Yeah. Okay, so the same way. Okay. Tomorrow, I think RJ and I are just going to do something, something simple. I didn't buy turkey this year, so I felt kind of bad, but. Are you guys having some, like, a couple family over? Or? Well, we're going to go see my parents today. And then tomorrow, he doesn't know it, but I'm going to make him something really nice. Aww. So he, he doesn't know it, but he'll get something. <laughs> Aww, that's awesome, though. Yeah. And I bought the pumpkin pie, too. So I got something. <laughs> so you guys like pumpkin pie? Uh, I really like pumpkin pie. RJ is more of an ice cream guy. Okay. He loves his creams. And he, um, yeah, he just likes ice cream. But I like I like cakes, you know. I yes. like I like the thick, dense desserts. <laughs> Ice cream to me is not a dessert. It's a dessert, but it's well, just yeah. It's like kind of a it's like a drink. Like, yeah, or it's a bit of a side, right? Yeah, exactly. Unless you it's make it like ice cream with <laughs> exactly ice cream with. <laughs> Unless it's on a cone, then you know. But yeah, like I have ice cream with something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just like this poor man's pudding that we're gonna have, right? <laughs> yeah. So. Exactly. I some people will eat it like this. I know some people put like thirty five percent cream on it too. Okay. Which that makes it even more decadent, right? Yes. And then, or some people will just like eat it like that too. Well, I worked out twice today. <laughs> I did. I did strong today with Jen. It was my oh, first yeah. time ever doing strong. It was a good workout. Yeah. It was yeah. Nice. I was How sweating was like crazy. <laughs> It's, and it's a slow burn that we were... Have you done it before with Jen? No. Strong? No, no I haven't. Well, it's a slow burn. It's like you're doing squats and you're doing, you know, side shuffling, ninja moves, jumping jacks, and you're doing, like, diagonal lunges, but you're holding it. So oh, yeah, it, okay. it burns for sure. Okay. Okay, so... What we'll do now is we'll put, we'll just put the meat in it. All the meat? Yeah, so. All of it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just use my hands. <laughs> so this equals, of, give or take, uh, three pounds oh. of each. Three pounds of each? Yeah. Okay. This is pork that we're using? Yeah, so this is pork and then uh, ground beef. You can also do it, a lot of people will also use uh, veal. Oh, veal. And ground beef and or other kind of meats that you can have grounded. Um, I just don't know where to get ground veal and just find it easier to find pork and beef than veal or anything. So, well, use. at Superstore, actually, they have the ground beef and ground pork mixture. Yes. And... Have I been to Superstore before? I would have known, but I didn't know. I have to uh, kind of shop smart when I do my shopping because those kids, they eat. Do you have boys? Lot. Lots of boys? Uh, three boys. Uh, yeah, so three boys, one girl, and then my husband's son is a boy too. So four boy, one girl. Okay, this is so four much shop. meat. Oh my gosh. Should we half it? Like put it in another pan too? We'll see. Let's put it higher. Let's speed up the process. Yeah. Okay, let's put it high. Up. There Push we go. A little bit. Get it mixed up. Yeah, so I'll go to Superstore or like Safeway, which is like right across the street, if I need like little things. But if I need the grocery, Costco's my, my main. Oh, I love Costco so much. 
our bill at Costco last week was like just under $500. I couldn't believe we spent that much. Yeah. On two people. At least, well, we got it. Yeah, no, but then you're like, oh, there's clothes. Oh, there's this, you know? But, you know, RJ don't buy those things. We just buy what we actually need, but we just get a lot of it, and it just turns out to be a lot. <laughs> well, to be fair, eat, um, to eat healthy, like a lot of vegetables and whatnot, you know, it'll cost a lot because you can't just say, hey, I'm going to buy all my vegetable for two weeks and then have it for two weeks because they'll get bad after mm -hmm. a few days, right? Exactly. How's that coming along? Sorry. Like I said, this is going to make a lot of pies. <laughs> it will. Jerome, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? Uh, staying home with the family and um, cook some turkey, maybe. Did you guys buy a turkey? Not yet. No, no, no. You can get it Sorry. tomorrow, tomorrow when it's on sale. Sorry, I meant to bring it. Oh, this. Yeah, it is. I checked um, Access Winnipeg Damn, and okay. everything is open tomorrow from 9 to 6. So, regular sure. hours. Access Winnipeg. Yes, thank you, Access <laughs> Winnipeg. I always go to their website if I need to learn something or find out when something's open. See, this is why I got you to do it. <laughs> All the muscles. It's a good arm workout. It is. <laughs> Have you ever, you've always lived here, have you? Yeah, I, um, okay, yes, I was, I've lived in Winnipeg all my life. However, I was born in Thailand. Okay. Um, yeah, so I was born in Thailand, but we came to Canada when I was very young, and we came to Winnipeg, and I've been here since. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, you've heard French, like Manitoba French, right? Oh, yeah. Which is like, there's a big difference with... Quebec French, Parisian French, and St. Boniface French. Huge difference. I actually used to hang out with some St. Boniface French people. Yeah. And uh, you could you could hear the difference, actually. And it's funny, because a little bit like New Brunswick French, which is Acadie, it's very, it's, it's bilingual. You speak like French and English in the same sentence. Okay. Which is what I'm trying to get my kids not to do. Oh, not to do. Say, Hey, yeah, we park in more trucks about the rue, and I'm like, you, you did what now? Okay. Oh, you park a truck by the side of the road. Okay. But your kids are in, is it English school or French they school? They go to French, like fully French school. Okay. Yeah. But isn't there? I think there's a rule, right? Oh no, there isn't a rule. But in Quebec, you have to go to a French school, non-English school, unless you have an English parent. Is that how it works? So, in Quebec. French school is kind of mandatory. Okay. Unless you have a parent who went to English school or your military family, mm. right? There's mm -hmm. a few exceptions. Mm -hmm. So here, there's no exception to go to French school, but mm -hmm. they will make sure that you have a good French, not background, but speak French. Because obviously most of, the, most of the kids that will go to French school speak French. So if you're like, you just want to put this, move this on oh, the sorry. burner. There oh. we go. <laughs> It'll just be a I'm lot just, like, easier. Moving it while I'm <laughs> yeah. So if you um, you speak English but you don't know any French and you go you're in grade four, well, all the kids in that grade like they know French, right? Right. So right. Be, you'll be behind, and then the kids will be behind too. So oh, I see. They do make sure that you're you understand French enough, and you have like a, an enough good French to be there. Okay. Um. But yeah, so. But there is like I can I hear it in the EAs and like the teachers too. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the teachers I find have more of a European French mm -hmm. too, which makes like a difference too when they they talk and everything. Which is it's really nice to hear just the different accents. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in in a couple minutes we'll be good to put all the other ingredients and just let it simmer a little bit. Have you been to France? 
my ex-mother-in-law, so my oldest grandmother lives in Orange in France. In France. It's called Orange? Yeah, it's called Orange. Oh, interesting. And uh, it's, it is interesting, and she just shows me like pictures, and she sends me, um, like she'll send my oldest some clothes and stuff, and it, it's just, it's really interesting and, and nice to see like the, the difference in clothing and such. And even when she speaks, she still has her, because she comes from Quebec, so she still has, she still has her Quebec accent, mm -hmm. but then she'll add like the little French friends. Little okay. Accents. I actually went to France. Uh, we were in Paris for one night, but I went to France Ooh. in uh, 2013. Just a friend of me, a friend of mine, and I loved it there. Oh my gosh, I oh, loved yeah. the food there, and I loved. What, I loved hearing people speak because it just sounds so beautiful when they're speaking. And I have, I had French food. I had um, duck breast. Oh yeah. Yeah, like it's a pretty big thing. They're duck breast and yeah. a baguette and stuff. And we had wine every day. But I loved yes. it in France so and much. And it's cheaper too, right? The well, the wine. Oh, I, I can't remember. Cheaper. You know what? It was cheaper to buy wine than it was to buy water. Yeah. Actually, now that I think about it. Yeah. yeah. Wine was nothing to them. But everyone in France was fit. Like they they would spend a lot of their time. Oh, they would spend a lot of their time working out, running, doing whatever they wanted. But they made sure that they had. Um, like, like, took care of their mental self. Yeah. Like, self-care. But everyone ran. Or maybe it was where I was at, where it was called, um, we went to Biarritz. Biarritz. <laughs> Do you know where I'm called? Biarritz and... Um, no. Ogasor. Uh, Ogasor. Really? I but it was, I, it was nice. Awesome, I loved though. it there. And they did lots of surfing in France. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, I would, yeah, I could see that. Okay, so now we'll just put all the rest of the ingredients. So... Put the potatoes. Okay. This was like four, five small potatoes that we chopped up. Yeah. Okay. And the temperature is still good? Yep. Okay, it's on high. We'll be able to bring it down just a little bit after we put the ingredients. Okay. Just so it doesn't burn at the bottom. Yeah. Do we season it with anything? Yep. So now we're going to take um, cinnamon, brown clove, and nutmeg. Cinnamon, nutmeg. These sound like dessert ingredients. They do. <laughs> they really do. And then... These all sound like ingredients for pumpkin pie. <laughs> okay, so here we have our ingredients. I... Yeah. What are the measurements? So the recipe says half a, tea, uh, a teaspoon, but I find it's not enough mm -hmm. so i put at least a teaspoon you of know what? everything yeah me too and i always double it we can once it's give or take like the potatoes are, are um, softened mm -hmm. we can adjust so if you don't find it tastes enough you can definitely put some more mm -hmm. but we'll start with that so a teaspoon of sorry, cinnamon nutmeg and ground clove okay i don't know where my um my stuff is. My kid was playing with all of them. Jet was playing with my measuring spoons and oh, he no. threw them somewhere. But we could use this other one. Or do you know what it is? If you look at these, these aren't labeled. It's a teaspoon? I'll use that one here. Okay. Just yeah. a barrel. It's a, it's a lot of meat. It is a lot of meat. So we'll be good. So Julie, how did you and your husband meet? So both my parents were military mm -hmm. and his father was military too. So we ended up being in the same base, which was in St. Hubert, like right by Montreal. Yeah. And we went to the same school. And it's kind of funny. Like high school or elementary? Uh, grade school, sorry. Okay, grade school. So we, we did like this show together and all, and it's, we were kind of, I would say frenemies, because at school, we were kind of enemies, but then at, at home we would hang out at night. Okay, um, wait, you guys were enemies at school, but would yeah. hang out at night. <laughs> yeah. That's yes. not, that sounds like something else. How old were you? <laughs> 11, 10. Whoosh! <laughs> and then when we were in high school, mm -hmm. we went to the same high school too for like, so high, Quebec and high school is different from here, so it would be grade seven and eight. Okay. Uh, and then right before getting into the bus, 
he kind of smashed an egg on my head. He smashed an egg yeah. on your head. Yeah. I also got him expelled from school. Uh, not expelled, but suspended from school. Well, yeah, he smashed an egg on your head. Oh, <laughs> he my God. He also tried to paint my hair green at this one Halloween time. He, like, ran after me when he got off the bus. What? <laughs> Why? Yeah. I don't know. He said he liked me, but didn't want to. He yeah. liked you, so he wanted to crack an egg on your head and paint your hair green. Yeah. It was, uh, oh, so I, I guess it worked if you guys are married, right? <laughs> well, yeah, so I have like this diary and it's really funny because I just kept them and once in a while I'll go back and just look and um, do you have a cup? Oh yeah, a cup? Yeah. And um, then in my diary it says, uh, I have a cup here. It says like, I love Jonathan Dubé and then I kind of scratched it off at one point when I was a kid and it's just funny to like kind of look back at it. But yeah, so. What are those? So that was breadcrumb. Sorry, I just added a cup of breadcrumb, and I'm gonna add a cup of uh, chicken broth in the cup. So then, how long have you guys been together? If this was grade school when you guys met. So this year it was the twelfth year. We've twelve years married or twelve years together? Uh, together. Yeah. Five children later. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and it's funny because his, so his oldest lives in New in um, Newfoundland, sorry, with his mom. Mhm. Mm and he's 15, and my oldest is turning 15 in a few days. So they're like basically the same age. So then six kids together? No, no, no it was five. Oh, five. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. To be fair, my two last ones were two for one. Oh, the twins? <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. So how was it having twins versus a single child? Was it a lot different in your pregnancy, let's say? Yes. Well, I always had good pregnancy, so like, knock on wood, I did good for that. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it was definitely challenging, especially near the end for the twins. I would walk like a duck and it was so heavy. <laughs> so heavy. Oh, everyone walked like a duck. Everyone's oh. so heavy. So we'll just bring it down a little bit to maybe six. Six, and we'll just, like, okay. A little simmer, a little bit. Okay. And so that's just so the, um, the liquid kind of, or the potatoes absorbs the liquid with the bread comes and everything. Okay. And then we can, if you want, you can start putting um, the pastry in the pans. Okay. Okay, so let's get that. So I kind of cleared um, this area for us. Perfect. All right, so what do we do? So this is store-bought pie crust that we just got. Yes. I don't do huge, like a lot of cooking at home. There's, I'll have like those bubbles and I'll be like cooking more stuff, like doing some bread and whatnot. And then I'll be like, oh, that's too much dishes. And I'll stop. <laughs> I know. But uh, it's a good thing we have a dishwasher. Okay. My recycling is just over here too. Oh, perfect. So, do you still I, need these ingredients, Julie? Nutmeg and black powder? Kelly and oh, no. So, we'll just add a little bit of salt and pepper. Again, that's just to taste. Salt and pepper? Yeah. Okay, here. And then and then we're done with the, the spices and everything. Oh, we're done? Okay. Yeah. All right. So, I'm excited for this. I'm glad we're not making this from scratch. Can you? I'll take forever. <laughs> it, yeah. And do you need butter to grease these or no? No. Okay. So while I wait for Julie, I will so lay these out. You can keep. You can maybe take a, a look at the pudding show mark too. Oh, okay. sure. Well, what do you think, Julie? Actually, it looks good. Looks good? Yeah. Should we take it out? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll take it out, and then I'll just leave it here to rest. Perfect. So, but I, like, I mean, I could make it on my own, but like I said, it's not like the huge, a huge baker. So what I do like doing, though, is just, like, creating a bunch of design when I do pies. Like, I'll 
I'll bake. I'll put like I'll do like a Christmas tree. Or yesterday I made I made some for home too, and I made like a a pumpkin, like little squigglies around it, just cause so it looks. Cute. Okay, well I want to do a heart for RJ. <laughs> yes. I have a cookie cutter. Need a fork too. Oh, fork? Yeah. So I just make sure that it's nicely padded on the side. And then it's like this. Oh, sorry. I don't really work with pie crust. I've never actually made a pie before. Yeah, so you just unroll it and then. You just put it on. Just make sure there's enough um, crust that goes on oh, over over the here. edges. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I unrolled that. Yeah, and then you just put it in the pan. Okay. So we're just this one right here and press it down. Yeah. Okay. And how big are these pie shells? 10 inches? Yes. Good, so they're big pies. Yes. So if ever your pie crust kind of cracks or anything, um, it's really easy. You just take a bit of water, just rub it on top, and just kind of stick it back together. Okay. So once the meat is done, what we're going to do is we're going to put it on. We can start with three, or we can do like a, four, a fourth one. Do you think we have enough meat for four? Hopefully. <laughs> No, but so we should, but I would start with maybe three. And so what would happen is that I am very generous with okay. my filling. Let's be generous with the filling. I don't like non-generous filling. <laughs> yeah, I like, I really like my... Uh, yeah, let's, let's not be stingy. We'll put lots of filling. <laughs> yeah, so I like to have a lot of filling. In it, and okay. So that's why I'm like, it, the recipe calls for six, but I like to have it so much on it. Yeah. So what happened is once this, uh, the potatoes get... Um, a little bit more mushy. Yeah. We'll put it in and then we'll use other, um, more of these and we'll put it on top. And then Kay. after once it's on top, okay. squish it and we can do like designs or whatever. Okay. This is my okay. design. Yep. <laughs> do you have a design or? No, I just go. Okay. But, um, the ones, yeah. So yesterday I did a pumpkin and then I, I did one with um, just little arrows on it, just like a basic, okay. a basic one. Okay. Uh, I do, I do hearts, I do just whatever. Teddy my bears. Pretty much. Yeah, whatever I cookie usually, cutter you have. I actually, I just use a, uh, a knife and I just. Okay, yeah. It on it. Yeah, and I keep it on. So, so, yeah, so I'll just go mix it again, make sure it's good. There's still lots of liquid in, right? Yeah. Let's put it, let's turn it up a little bit. Yeah. Maybe we'll just mix it a little bit more just to make sure it doesn't stick, but yeah, it should be good. Yeah, so the sure that looks good. It does look good. Yeah. A little bit hot still, right? We'll just let this cool a little yeah. bit before oh, we yeah. slice it. Yep, it actually did rise a lot more than I thought it would because when you spread it initially, yeah. I thought, oh, that's well, the not pretty big. No, I know. The baking powder will make it rise a little yes, bit too. Yes. It's not supposed, it's not meant to be like a huge cake. It's mm -hmm. really meant to be like this and then have the very sweet sauce. <laughs> so it, I can right? even see like the sugar on yeah. top. And it's really, it smells too. It smells mm -hmm. Sugary and des deserty. <laughs> yeah. Did you taste the filling already? Is it is it no, seasoned I haven't. already? Okay. It, it is seasoned, but I haven't tasted it yet. Okay, I will taste it. Perfect. I, it's just an excuse for me to eat yeah, something. Yeah, for sure. So. <gasps> I'm just gonna. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then we can add more if you fit. Mm, just a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. So get this. Um, I went to the dentist um, last week. Just like, you know, normal checkup and clean. Yeah. They tell me I have a cracked molar. And I'm like, oh, what? what? How did I get a cracked molar? I swear I was not eating rocks, right? 
And so I think I got a cracked molar because I keep testing all these hot <laughs> foods. You know, I'll eat all these hot foods and I'll have really cold water, ice or whatever. But I think that's how my molar cracked. Anyways, it's fixed now. I, I, I had it filled, but okay. I just thought it was funny. I had a cracked molar. <laughs> oh. Well, how hard is it or how? I mean, I get they are smaller. Do you have the cinnamon? Oh, cinnamon? Yes. Sorry, because um, we're adding more. Um, they're, they're younger, right? So it's probably like fun for Kai and Jet to wash, to brush their teeth. Yeah. I don't, I don't know where the cinnamon is. It's okay. I think we, this, this is nutmeg. Okay. I already have that one. That's okay. Mm, is this cinnamon? Oh, yes, oh, there, there it is. Okay. Someone knocking on my door. Oh, it's my children. <laughs> Hi, Jet. Yeah. So you just want to make sure that the liquid, uh, the potato is kind of Get absorbed the, the liquid a little bit and... And it's just until, so the potatoes are still hard, so you just have to wait until the potatoes soften a little bit because it will be cooking in the oven. Um, it doesn't have to be super, super soft, but as long as you're like easily capable of cutting it, I'm not right now, um, then you can take it off and then put it in the pies. And because it's high, I just want to keep on mixing it just so it doesn't... Uh, burn at the bottom because I have a tendency to burn all my suburbs. Can I take some of this stuff away for yes. you? Yes. Okay. Sorry. Give me some more room. So the other day, I put chicken on the stove and I put like the water to boil the chicken and everything. And I tell my husband, okay, I'm, I'm going to go. But I forget to tell him there's chicken on the stove boiling. Oh, no. And I come back, and the kids are outside. I'm like, the alarm went off. Oh, and no. It scared us. I'm like, what happened? And then my husband's like, well, he didn't tell me there was chicken on this thing, so it just kind of burnt. I'm like, oh. But could you smell the chicken, though? Oh, yeah. And there's, like, um, smoke everywhere. And the chicken was like, I recu recuperated whatever wasn't burnt, but yeah, it was burnt. It was oh, such a waste. Oh, I hate wasting food like that. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, to, I was able to get enough to make the supper, but I was like, oh, I'm sorry. And the kid's like, it was scary. <laughs> and like, outside waiting. Did the fire was... alarm or the oh, fire yeah. company? They and came? No, 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 no. Okay. Like, just, uh, just the noise that went off, but the kids get, like, really scared with loud noises, so they're, like, outside freaking out. That happened to me. That happened to us before in our old house. We, we had Vivint um, alarm, right? And I don't know who set it off, if it was me or RJ, but I swear. Oh, so then the alarm company, Vivint, tried calling me. I didn't pick oh. up my phone. They tried calling RJ, didn't pick up our phone. Guess who shows up at our house? The fire trucks. Oh, no. Oh, I felt so bad. And well, because they called, but we didn't have a number to call them back, yeah. right? To say, no, don't come, it's a false alarm. But they came within like four minutes. So, okay, I felt, wow, that's good. So, though. I'm glad that the alarm company called the fire yeah. truck. However, I felt really bad that it was a false alarm, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. But, hey. But you know that if anything happened, they'll be here quick. Exactly. So, that's good. It was, it was literally within a few minutes, like wow. four minutes, I think. It was really good, actually. Yeah, I was pretty impressed over it. How's that looking? Starting the potatoes are getting there. They're like just getting there and seasoning's yeah. good too. Well, we'll have to taste it again. Let's taste it again. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think I think it needs a little bit more seasoning. So <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I think it needs salt. <laughs> But you know what? You should try it. I don't okay. know how uh, it's supposed to taste. It tastes like very savory meat. Yeah, I, I made it yesterday and I had to adjust it quite a bit. Because um, I, I love uh, this guy, Ricardo, mm -hmm. who does cooking. It's a cooking show, right? Mm -hmm. He does. Um, but I find that his recipe bland. Well, not all bland, but like this one at least, I have to like add. I'm like, okay, well, I mean, I'm adding it. We yeah, need more. We, we need, need more. more. Yeah, we. Whatever salt. we, whatever the the, yeah. the ingredients were, we need more salt, more yeah. cinnamon, more um, cloves, but yeah. pepper. Sometimes they t they tend to be 
kind of. I feel like they spices. Oh, okay. The, the clove and whatnot. Mm -hmm. but, um, so start little and then just. But I find that, like I said, I add a lot of salt in my food. Yeah. <laughs> and, like recipes, I swear they don't give you enough salt. <laughs> What's this? That's a nutmeg. Nutmeg. And then a bit of clove, not too much. Okay. And this will be a lot. Yeah, that'll be too <laughs> much. Like, nope. Do you want, um, you just use the back. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, it smells really good. So what would you normally serve the tortilla with? So, and is is tortilla the same thing as mince meat pie, or is it different? I'm not sure what it is. Mince meat pie. I don't I don't know what mince okay. meat pie is. I I've always heard of mince meat pie, but I wasn't sure if mince meat pie was a dessert or if it was um, a savory dish, right? I I'm not quite sure what it is, but it. I would, um, so we'll just bring it down just a little Oh, bring bit. it down? Yeah. Uh, six? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's take a look. What is minced meat pie? And is that French? I'm not quite sure, but yeah, no, um, okay. So the potatoes are really getting there, so that's good. Yeah, so you would serve this, so again, it would be like turkey, uh, your like Thanksgiving slash Christmas dinner. You know, and then you would also, or you can just eat it like this, and mm -hmm. then people, a lot of people will eat it with, um, with ketchup. Oh, ketchup. I'm not a fan of ketchup, so I don't. Okay, so it. mince meat pie, I'm looking at it. Mince meat pie is not even meat. It is a dessert. Oh, it is? Yeah, oh, okay. it's a pie <laughs> from New England. Uh, it's a fruit pie, or a sweet pie of English origin filled with a mixture of dried fruits and spices called mince meat. Traditionally served during the Christmas season of the English-speaking world. Yeah, so okay, so it's not a meat dish, but it's called minced meat pie, but it's a fruit pie. Oh, nice. There we go. So they're completely different completely. from the <laughs> here. Yeah, so I... So we'll also eat it when you go to Sugar Shacks. What's a Sugar Shack? Oh, like those huts, right? Sugar Shack. So it's um it's a place you go around like um, in spring. Yeah. Where, when again like when the, the maples have the ma uh, the maple water running and then they make the maple syrup out of it and everything. So there's um I don't want to call it restaurants because it's really like just in springs. Mm -hmm. And then you go there and there's a feast, right? It's okay. Everything maple and then you have like ham. You have um pea soup with ham and then you have you'll have tortilla that's offered with that. You'll have um fruit ketchup, you'll have pancakes and just everything you have, um, maple syrup, I mean, you have, it's a feast, so you kind of eat pretty much as, as long as you're, as you're full, right? Mm -hmm. You have the oreille de cris, which is like, it's, um, uh, like bacon ears, but it's like crispy. Bacon ears? Well, that's what you call it, but it's, uh, Is it really bacon ears though? No. Oh, okay. It's not. I was kind of trying to translate it, <laughs> but it's, it's like super crispy. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit like um, trying to find. My husband really liked these. It's it's not chips, but it's like pork uh, rinds. Yes, it's so like, nice. So thank you. <laughs> so it's a little bit like pork rinds, but it's it's fried. Yeah. And just sounds like, like pork rinds. <laughs> and warm, right? It's, oh, I see. Warm. We love pork rinds. Yes. Oh, I know it's you do, Jerome. So you like your good. pork rinds. <laughs> it's really good. So there is a lot of of uh water but uh, of liquid yeah but it's gonna be good anyways it's okay it's fine. so what we can do so it's pretty it's ready to be put in the crust okay so we can uh, close them I think you just the oven. press off yeah, just press off you can bring the pot here too Julie or do you want me to bring on the pies the there oh, yeah you can how do you oh. it does turn on itself yeah it's oh, off. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, there nice. we go. Okay, so where do you want me to put the, the pot? Do you want me to put the pot here? Did you have something in silicone? Or just put on top of this okay. thing. Okay. There. Perfect. And then you need a, like a measuring cup or 
No, just um, a big spoon. A big, okay. Um, oh, I had a big ladle, yeah. too. Yes. I had one. Let me see. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Yeah, so, so yeah, so that'll be, that's because it's, well, it's typical, so that'll be served with, um, at the Sugar Shack. Oh, okay. It's, I kind of miss that. Um, so it's a little bit like they have at, uh, Festival de Voyageur. Mm-hmm. But, like, bigger and it's, it's just like with, like, Quebec music and whatever. So now what we're going to do, sorry, we're just, just thinking about that is fine. Let me say it. But um, so we're just going to fill out the pies. Okay. How full? As full as you want. As full as you want. <laughs> yeah. But if you put it too much, will it like spill over then? No, because you'll have the, um, the top the crust top over. And, yeah, exactly. Okay. Then let's make it generous. Okay, so that's good. So give it, yeah, give or take like that. Okay. So I'll just move it. Oh, sure. Over the, there? Over there. And then okay. you can just press the top on the back. Okay. So do you speak French at home, Julie? Yes. We just speak French at home. Uh, the husband will speak in English with me. Um, and once in a while, he'll speak in English to the kids. But we have like a strict French. Oh, so when home. you're at yeah. home, you have to spring, you have to speak French. Yeah. Well, the kids will like, because they need to practice their English just because, well, you know, it's more English here, right? Yeah. But um, it's so easy to lose your French. It is. And yeah. because the kids have been brought up in New Brunswick and here there's more English and French so it's like even more like, kind of hard and my mom would definitely kill me if my kids did not know French don't know French <laughs> or well, speak more English than French so when I okay so when I was younger in high school like, like I said I used to hang out with um French uh no actually <laughs> French people from St. Boniface right and uh, they would only speak French to each other because they want to preserve the French culture um, they had to speak French at home, and they, I was told that they only marry other French people to preserve the French culture. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. No, it's true, though. Like, I mean, yeah. it makes sense well, if you want to preserve your culture. You it's, know, like... It's a big reason why um, Quebec is very... Um, well, it's kind of stuck up, I guess, but on the French. Mm -hmm. uh, because there's... There's, like, English is a big... A big language here in Canada, right? It's like English and French, or it's more bilingual, but right. there's a lot more English provinces than French or anything, right? Mm -hmm. So, do we have enough? Oh, yeah. I'll at least make another one for sure. Okay. So, um, they're so scared of losing their the culture and their French that everything has to be French, which kind of is a bummer on some things. Mm -hmm. But we don't need, we don't have to marry French, so it's it's good. <laughs> This is so many pies. <laughs> so we would do that because you know, around Thanksgiving or Christmas time, we have family over. Oh, but know, it'll get eaten then, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it makes a lot of pies. But then again, you can. Um, what I I do too is I'll make a big batch because I don't make them every weekend, mm -hmm. and then I'll freeze them. Right. And you can just pop it in the oven, three minutes ish, and yes. then it's it's ready to go and because we're so many at home one pie is not enough for everyone oh of course so like I have one, one like of those pies is probably four. enough for what generously speaking let's say three maybe? yeah and it also depends what you're eating with it too right? true if you're just eating that then at least just like three per pie <laughs> but if you're eating something else then like a salad <laughs> or turkey or, or turkey yeah. or but anything else right yeah it'll be wow that's so much filling can we we'll have enough for one last oh one more pie yeah okay one last pie. okay well let's put the tops on yeah. so i'm gonna ask again if i haven't but you, you hung up with the French from St. Boniface. Did you speak French? No. <laughs> no. I was just curious. I was just asking. <laughs> I don't know if you knew any French. No, I spoke English. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. I, I wish I could speak French, but... Uh, 
No, no, just curious to know if you knew French. <laughs> I could say, uh, may I please go to the washroom? <laughs> or um, what else could I say? I think that's only it. May I please go to the washroom then? <laughs> Very basic stuff. Stuff you would learn in school. I actually took French from grade four to grade nine, and I cannot speak a lick of French at all. But RJ actually went to a French school, I think. RJ, did you? You went to French immersion? Oh, maybe. Yeah, oh. see? Yeah. <laughs> And you know, it's funny, okay, so if we go to a, a different country, he speaks whatever they speak. His, his voice changes all the time. <laughs> like, I swear, we were in oh. Mexico and he'll speak Mexican, right? <laughs> we'll go to Asia and, and he'll see someone that he thinks is probably French or European and then he speaks English in a European accent. And they always ask him if he's from that country. He's like, and we just laugh. Yeah, that would be but really But I swear, his though. voice changes and I'm like, where, where did you learn this from? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so I actually went to, in, I went to French school when we were, because we lived in uh, Ottawa for a bit. Yeah. And so I went to French school when we, were, when we were in Ottawa. And then once we moved back to Quebec, I went to English school. So I did all my schooling from grade five to, in Quebec it'd be secondaire cinq, mm -hmm. but here it'd be grade I guess we, we stopped at grade 11, but like grade 12. Yeah. So I did all my school in English, so I graduated in English school. Okay. Yeah, I've never done, I've only been to French school when you were in Ontario. Oh, I see. So, because for my dad, it was like, well, you're in Ontario, there's English everywhere, you're good, you can, you know, let's do French, but mm -hmm. if you're in French, well, you'll speak French all the time. Mm -hmm. So, it's, English is important, so let's do that. Okay, let's put the tops on yeah. these. Okay. Okay, so how do you do it? So, I'll just grab this one. Okay. Just put it on top. Just make sure that the sides are stuck. And do you, do you use scissors or you just... No, so what I'll do is I'm just going to kind of push on them a little bit. Oh, you pinch it? Yeah. And then I'll... Sorry, oh. I'll take the knife here. Well, you need to make a hole, right? Or pierce it? Well, so I'm going to do it. I'm just going to... Um, near the edge, like where the, the aluminum thing is. Okay. I'll just press with the fork, so with the two um, pastries are stuck together. It's raining. Oh, it's raining right now. Yeah. yeah. So when you say you make designs, you just use a cookie cutter? Uh, you can use a cookie cutter. I just use a knife just because okay. I'm lazy. I'm going to make, I'll I put two hearts in mine. I have to find myself cookie cutters. Heart for me and heart for RJ. That's my my love for him. And then whatever's <laughs> extra, yeah, I just just go around. So you just make a bit of a an incision and then just go around. Okay. Edging. Okay, I'm gonna do that. The pie. Sorry. And then I personally really don't do anything with the extra. Uh, pie I'm gonna crust. save it. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. But you can save it. You can make there's uh, you can make dishes. You can make just whatever else with them. Yeah. Oh, I I can find something to make with it. <laughs> there's always something yummy. Oh, for sure. And then I'll just go. Just make basic. Big Mama said, "Love you, Julie." <laughs> oh yay! Yeah. Hi, Big Mama. Thanks for tuning in. I want to hear what you guys are having for Thanksgiving. Yes. And if you guys need some people over, <laughs> we'll be there. <laughs> Say hello to Pauline. Pauline's watching. Pauline Wong. Hi, Pauline. Hi, Pauline. Oh, I love that the West members are watching. Yes. Okay. I'm just oh. going to take scissors. <laughs> it's just easier. Alexis is watching. Alexis. Alexis. Hi, Alexis. So sometimes I'll just be like sitting at home and then I see like the pop up of the live coming on. I'm like, okay, I'll just watch it. You and see what pop? The, the live. You're at the oh, the live? live yeah. pop. Okay. Light up. And I'm like, oh my God, okay. So I just like sit down and I watch it. Well, thanks for being on the show, Julie. Well, thanks for having me. It's nice. I like it. Good. I haven't baked in a bit for some like, my husband's like, oh, you're baking. Yeah, I haven't done it in a bit. Yeah, so then you'll do this for the amount of pies you have. And then once it's done, you can pop it in the oven. Okay, let's save this. Okay, well, let's put our two pies that we made. One was Julie's and one was mine. 
Yeah, I was going to say you can just put the one too. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay, so the parent and then the children. There. Oh no, let's make it like this. No, let's do it like this. <laughs> so, two mama parents, two babies. Okay, my little Thanksgiving meal. Okay, how long do we pop it in the oven for? So we'll put it for. For how long? 40, 45 minutes. 40 or 45 minutes? Yeah. So I. Let's go pop these in. So we can put it like this. Yeah. We can also, if you want to, you can put a bit of butter on it too. Oh, um, you, you didn't tell me about the butter. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's a, it's an option. Or right, some people will use uh, egg whites too. Okay. Oh, to, to make top. like an egg wash. Yeah. Okay. And because Julie is so wonderful, we have one already prepared. Yay! <laughs> Yay. Magic. So let's. Yeah, it is magic, right? So Gosh, here is our pie. Here. And it's nice and warm. So this is what the finished product looks like, but yeah. it's still, I guess, really hot. Do we need to let it set first? Um, yeah, well, so you can, so you, or you could just serve it like this, just, just be careful. Okay, so top, let's, right? let's so. cut the pie and let's cut the cake. Perfect. Okay, so why don't we cut the cake Say first? Blessing. Blessing. Hi, Blessing. Do a little dance for us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the cake. I'll get you to cut the cake, Julie. You need a knife uh, or a yeah, spatula. Or, a spatula. Um, or maybe you know what? I'll take this. It it won't be cute. What? Or no, actually that's good. It won't be like a cute little square. It's not supposed it's to be cute, whatnot, right? So yeah. Okay. And this is once again called the pudding, pudding oshomar. Oshomar. That sounds nicer than poor man's pudding. But that, when you translate it in English, it's it, yeah. poor man's pudding. Yeah, I actually learned it um, this week when I was like looking up for it. Mm-hmm. Okay. You can just hear that sugar, that yeah. crunch. Well, we buttered it. Yeah. But it's still kind of stuck. A well, yeah, too. there was but lots of it, maple syrup. I was going to say, it's very sugary. Okay. So do you want me to just put it on the Let's plate? Let's just or? cut one, one slice. Okay. We're good. Just so people can see what it looks like. Okay, look at that. It's really not cute, but it's oh. the taste that goes to Oh, it. so it's not about looks, Kay. Nope. <laughs> no. So what you, you can also have it a little bit more runny. So what we can do with that is either leave it a little less long or um, put a little bit more of the syrup. Oh, it's perfect. No, no more syrup. Um, no, no, I know, <laughs> but I'm just saying if you want it more runny. Mm-hmm. Um, what's good to eat with it too is some people have some like vanilla ice cream with it or 34%, 35% cream, which makes it like even more decadent, but. Wow, that's it, really good. Right? That's really good. Yeah. It's really sweet though. <laughs> it is, it's, it is. Mm. You want to try some, Julie? Yeah. Okay, here. One for you. Thank you. Jerome, Jerome, if I just fish. Oh, yeah, go for it. Jerome, this is yours. Thank you. <laughs> I was going to feed you, but you didn't <laughs> want to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's good, right? Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it really is good. Yeah, okay, let's I cut the pie. Yeah, it's delicious. <laughs> but it's that crunch, and then when the inside is all nice and soft, mm-hmm. delicious. Whoa. Okay, let's go cut the pie. Yeah. So, we'll have... Um, Oh, another knife? Yeah, or a spatula or something. So many dishes <laughs> today. Oh my goodness. Well, we, can we can use this one if you want. Uh, sure. Oh, here. So again, you would serve this um, on an occasion like like today, mm-hmm. uh, like Christmas, or just, you can get Eat it like that too. Or if you have a day off and you have time to cook. Exactly. You want to. Oops. And it's not cute again. But there you go. Sorry. <clears throat> okay, you got that? I'm gonna have a taste. Mmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I like that. I like how it's savory. It's cinnamony and nutmeggy and clovey. <laughs> what All else? Spicy. So you want some, RJ? Well, yeah, try the tortilla first. Okay, guys. <laughs> it's a little bit hot. Yeah. Here, you can feed yourself. 
I was so, gonna feed him too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You like it? Good. It is good. Mm -hmm. And we have lots of pies. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Yep. One for each <laughs> yes, one for each family. Well, Julie, thank you so much no, for coming on the show. It was so much fun. And oh. uh, I learned a lot about the French culture. So thanks yeah, for thank coming. You for me. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. And next week, we have Olivia Garula, mm. the predator, joining Mary's Kitchen. I'll see you guys next week. Bye now, and Bye. happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.